Hey guys, so as you can see, we're not in Wisconsin. Wisconsin got hit pretty hard with winter. We'll have more on that in the next video. I closed the shop, Sam was able to work mobile, and we escaped to the Florida Keys for a couple of months. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get this video out. There's been a learning curve, but I am learning and I'm working hard to make each video better for you guys. So in this video, Rhapsody comes out of the water, she gets stored for the winter. I'll take you around the area that we live, I'll tell you how Sailing Rhapsody got started, and we'll stop in on a local business. We have some cool and unique small businesses in the area, and they've supported the coffee shop, so I thought it'd be cool to feature one over the next few videos. In this video, we're going to show you the Big River Theater in Alma, Wisconsin. Alma is just downriver from Pepin a few miles. It's also where the first lock and dam is located that we'll be passing through. So please keep watching, and as always, if you have any tips, advice, or maybe there's something you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, I am Scott Wolf, owner of the Big River Theater, and we are in uh, downtown Alma, Wisconsin. My wife and I purchased this building, and, and this building was constructed in 1895. What charmed us about the theater, what charmed us about the building, is the presence of the building. It's a beautiful uh, piece of architecture, and as well as it's a place that can continue to serve the community. We love the River Valley, and we believe that a venue like this can provide great value to the community through movies and entertainment, a source of uh, social gathering, as well as a source of education uh, and musical instruction. As owners of this building, we are excited to serve the community. And for us, the community is the individuals as well as the businesses. We're very interested to hear from you, and now please enjoy the show. Since our plans have been postponed for a few short months, I thought this might be a good opportunity to take you guys around the area and show you where we live. So this is how Sailing Rhapsody got started. About four summers ago, a local captain took a group of us out for a night sail. He asked me if I'd like to take the helm. This was my first time on a sailboat. I actually had to ask him what the helm was. He laughed and he pointed at the wheel. I got up. When I put my hands on the wheel, I had a little bit of an emotional moment. So as I'm having my emotional moment, I'm looking at the sails and feeling how the boat is reacting to the wind and following all the lines to see if I can't figure out where they go I'm looking at all the things and stuff to try to figure out what they might do as I'm doing this I get this feeling inside of this is what I'm supposed to do that's the night I caught the passion for sailing and little did I know that sail that night was going to put me on the path that I'm on today after that sail, I wanted to learn more about sailing and sailboats. So I started reading about sailing, 
I started checking out boats that were for sale. So after a few months of that, I kind of developed an idea of a sailboat that I'd like to have someday, thinking that I'd be sailing on Lake Pepin. I developed an interest in a early 70s, 30 foot CNC, and I wanted a blue one, and I wanted one with a wheel. So I opened up Craigslist one day, and there's a listing for a sailboat for sale in Lake City, Minnesota, which is only about 20 minutes away from where we live. So I drove over that day, and I drive into the marina, pull around the corner, sitting in a cradle is a 1972 30 foot CNC blue with a wheel. I didn't plan on buying a boat, I just wanted to learn about them. But I kept feeling this pull towards her, so I called the owner for a tour. I had no clue what I was looking at. I was looking for obvious things, big holes in the hull, missing prop, things that would be obvious to somebody that does not know what they're doing. On the tour, I think the owner got a sense of the connection I was getting with Rhapsody. When I asked him the price, I couldn't believe it. So I bought her. I bought both without a survey, without putting her in the water, without starting the engine. Luckily when we did put her in the water, she stayed afloat and she started right up. Rhapsody's first sale was to get her from Lake City, Minnesota to Pepin, Wisconsin, and that was actually my first real sale. Sam and I sailed her there without any problems at all. We actually sailed her like we had done it a hundred times. It was also my first time ever docking a sailboat. And of course, when we pulled into the marina, we had an audience. Luckily, we brought her in and docked her with no problems at all. But we've had a few cents. So now that I had a sailboat, I needed to learn how to sail. So I started searching YouTube for how-to videos, and I found Sailing Nanji and Sailing Delos, and I was completely blown away. I had no clue that this existed. I had no idea this lifestyle was out there. And things started clicking. So I started binge watching Nanji and Delos, and every episode I watched, I just became more and more inspired. And so many things started making sense. So many crazy things had happened over those last few months that led me to this point. I strongly believe that things happen for a reason. And as I said earlier, so many crazy things have happened, so many doors have opened, so many random people have come into my life that has put me on this path. So we've made a choice to chase a dream and make it a reality. That's how Sailing Rhapsody got started. I left a lot out for the sake of video time. If you're interested and would like to know more, just let me know. Enjoy the rest of the video. Fantasies pointed death things you can't see. You're caging yourself when.